Wait, what is someone? Hello. Good morning, grade sevens. I uh, may please confirm with me if you can hear me. If you can hear me, just type on the chat box. Just say yes. Grade sevens, please confirm with me if you can hear me. If you can, please say yes. Okay, good morning, grade sevens. Welcome to another coding session. Um, it's your teacher, Kevin Baloyi. And today we're gonna focus on something different, but it's still coding, right? Um, this is just a preparation for you to actually start coding on Scratch because tomorrow we are going to start coding on Scratch. Okay. So today we are going to use the same method that we used um, sometime last week, the three, two, one method. So at the end of the lesson, you will tell me the three things that you have learned, the two things that you will share with your family and friends, and one thing that you will continue doing after this lesson. Okay, so at the end of this lesson, you will identify and apply different programming elements to solve a problem, right? So we'll be focusing on variables, conditions, loops, functions, and etc. But specifically 
I want us to focus on different functions, right? On functions. Um, um, please confirm again if you can hear me. If you can hear me, please, 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 please confirm with me. Okay, thank you, Witumelo. Thank you, Khao. Thank you, Mashatsi. Okay. Um, I'm going to start over quickly. Okay. Um, at the end of this lesson, you will tell me three things that you've learned, two things that you will share with your family and friends, and one thing that you will continue doing, right? Um, okay, so today's lesson is about functions. So I will, we will identify the different, um, we'll identify and apply different programming elements to solve a problem, right? So the last time you solved the problem, you're focusing on debugging, right? So the program, gave us something that we had to look through, find the problem and fix it, right? So right now, um, we're gonna go back to the coding um, definition. I'm sure by now you know it, even in your sleep. Um, so coding is a method of giving instructions to your computer to perform a specific task, right? It allows you to create computer software, apps and websites. Right. So tomorrow on Scratch, I'm going to teach you how to design your own game. Okay. Um, just a recap. So we're going to focus on different functions, right? But I want you to focus on the loops, right? I want us to focus on the loops. So um, if you didn't know, now you know that you can have a loop inside a loop, inside another loop, right? You can have as many loops as you possibly can. And after I've put all these blocks together, this is a picture I got, right? This is a picture I got. This is a drawing that I made as I was playing around with it. So I'm sure you're gonna be able to draw some um, th things that are very amazing, um, things that you can be able to share with your friends and family, right? Okay, um, so what do I mean by functions, right? Um, different coding blocks have different functions, right? So if you want to change the color of your drawing, you can use move forward by 100 pixels. You can't do that. You need to use the set color block, right? Different coding blocks have different coding functions, right? So make sure you use the right blocks when you code. Um, these are some of the examples that um, I took from the internet. Some of the things that people or like people your age maybe, or people older than you, or people younger than you, who actually designed these drawings. Can you see that this is a continu continuation from yesterday? We focused on patterns and now we're focusing on functions. Right, so um, these coding blocks have different functions, like I said, and different functions will give you different patterns, as you can see. And here's another example of the Olympic rings. So this was done through coding, right? Um, so right now we're gonna do a bit of practice because what's the point of talking about something and not practice it, right? So we're gonna practice um, a, few, a few courses. So on your, on your um, what do you call it? Not your search engine, right? Not your search engine, but your link bar. Remember we spoke about the link bar. You wanna type in this um, link bit.ly 
forward slash one two one two code a right so for now we're gonna pause on the slideshows and then we're gonna go to code.org and then go to the different functions right and do the different functions okay so we are on our web browser right now so like i said don't type your bit right here on your search engine type it here on your link bar right so let's start typing um one two one two code a Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna watch this video first. Um, just a reminder from yesterday of what we are dealing with. You wouldn't even qualify for the race if you don't have people that are proficient in computer sciences because of how much data the cars collect and the necessity to be able to have people that can write programs and to figure out how you can continue to build forms. In these puzzles, you'll be an artist that uses a pencil to draw different shapes so wherever your artist goes, it will draw a line behind you. To move around the canvas, you'll use the move forward block. Here, the move forward block says move forward by 100 pixels. When we hit run, what happens? The artist moves forward a certain amount, and that amount is 100 pixels. Pixels are basically very tiny squares on your computer screen. The other block we have in this puzzle says turn right by 90 degrees. And when we drag that out, that makes our artist turn a certain amount. So you can play around with how far you want the artist to turn. This is a 90 degree turn. And this is a 120 degree turn. And remember, you can change these values by clicking the arrows next to the numbers for pixels and degrees. Enjoy drawing with your artist. Okay, so let us continue. Let us continue. Okay, so like I told you, different blocks have different functions. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump straight into the last challenge. Right? So here we have different functions. We have, um, and we have to look at different things that you've learned about so far. Remember our terms, that's a sprite, that's a loop, Right, these are, are coding blocks um, and then different coding blocks have different functions, right? So right now, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna look for a practice program that doesn't require any, okay. So right here, I'm gonna manipulate the star. Right, what do I mean by that? What I'm gonna do is I'm going to draw a smaller star or a bigger star, right? Depending on um, what I wanna do. So I'm gonna play around different colors, play around different sizes, play around different pixels, right? So to draw a star, we need to repeat this five times. So we are going to change that four to a five and then move forward as instructed. And then you're gonna turn right by 144 degrees as instructed. Remember, always read your instructions, follow your instructions, right? So if you do that, you will see that um, you wanna have a perfect star, but you're gonna play around the star and then try to draw something around the star, try to um, just manipulate um, the codes. So 
So that's our perfect star with only one color. But if you take a different coding block, put it in there, what's gonna happen is we are going to have different colors, right? From your different colors, what you can do is you can also jump, right? You can jump forward. After jumping forward, maybe you can draw. Let's see. Um, a bird, maybe, right? So let's reset, let's run, see what happens. You see that um, it says keep coding, something's not quite right yet. Um, the reason why we got this message is because we did something that you're not supposed to do. We added a bird and we used seven blocks instead of five, right? But like I said, today I wanted to show you different functions, different things that you can do with these different coding blocks, right? Um, so let's not mind this for now. But as you code, you're gonna get um, to, to levels where you are going to have to create your own thing from scratch. They're gonna give you coding blocks, a blank area, and then you're gonna have to use this workspace to design whatever that you wanna design. This is actually a good introduction to Scratch um, because with Scratch, that's when you're gonna be doing um, advanced, code, code, um, advanced blog coding. Right. Are you still with me? If you have any questions, I'm gonna pause for now. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me right now. If you have any questions, you can type your question or you can unmute yourself and then ask me the question. Any questions so far? How do we get to coding? Okay, we do Melo. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to allow you to practice this on your own. I'm gonna give you links. I'm gonna give you um, apps that you're gonna use and then you're gonna learn how to code on your own, right? So for example, um, if you can check my screen right now, um, right here on code.org. Can you see um, the website code.org? What you're gonna do is you're gonna type that on your link bar and then just explore. You will see different um, courses, different levels um, for different ages, right? Um, are we learning how to loop because I'm late and did miss? Okay, um, Martin, no, we are learning about different functions right now. Um, including the loop, including drawing, including pixels, including um, the, um, what do you call it? Degrees and everything, right? So we're focusing on different functions today. Any other question before I continue? Okay, um, we are going to continue right now. Awesome. Okay, so let's reset that. Let's remove our bird. Let's remove the jump forward. And then right now I want us to change the size of our pencil, right? So they gave us 20. Let's change it to a, a three maybe, right? See what happens. Can you see that now our pencil is a bit tiny? They gave us a 20 before and then we changed it to a three, right? So we'll keep it at 20. And then we are going to use a different pattern, right? Because as you can see, once we draw that, it's gonna be a straight line, right? But you can use different patterns. 
You can have your rainbow, you can have your string, you can have anything else that you want to have, right? So let's use that for now. Let's run our program. Okay, no, not quite. Let's remove that. And let's have that. You see that, so different coding blocks have different functions. And it's up to you what functions you want to use when you have um, a blank workspace. And then when you have a lot of blocks that you can manipulate and then you have a blank um, picture right here, right? So um, always focus on your workspace. Um, always focus on the number of blocks that are required, right? So make sure that you read the instructions all the time. But if they give you a blank workspace, a lot of blocks and a blank um, picture, then you can actually uh, manipulate the system and play around the codes, right? Um, so right now, what I'm gonna do is, okay, so let's follow these instructions. Now we need to um, draw a roof right up here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move forward first. All right, so as we move forward, you're gonna move that direction. And then you're gonna turn left by 120 degrees, right? Let's run it for now. And then let's move forward, right? Um, I want to show you something. So that's your 120 degrees. What's gonna happen if I change the 120 to a 90? Can you see that it gives us the um, 90 degree angle, right? So coding is not only focused on the IT subject, right? You can use coding in any subject, right? You can design a maths game, you can have, um, can design a movie where you tell a story, right? So for example, if in your language class, maybe Afrikaans or Zulu, Sotho or English, maybe um, they ask you to write a story. You can design um, characters, sprites, right? You can design a setting, you can design, um, you can put different trees, you can have a garden, you can have different animals, you can have bubble speeches with people talking, you can add your voice, right? So that's how you can tell your story differently instead of just writing a normal essay or delivering a speech. You can actually use coding and present, um, present your speech with coding, right? So I want you to focus on those things. Let's change our 90 to back to the 120 and then let's finish our code, right? Um, so we will to turn left again, then move forward. Let's run our program. Okay. Um, so we are going to manipulate the system again. We are going to use different colors. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention. So if you made a mistake, right? Say for example, you have this there and you want to remove it. What you do is you don't drag from here because you're going to delete the whole thing, right? Always use this space. Always use this space. So you're going to drag that, put it aside and then you remove that. Then you put it back. So you, if you want to remove this 10 left, by 120 degrees. You can also do that, but also make sure your clock goes there, right? So you can't click and drag from the top. You always have to do it from the bottom if you want to correct your codes, right? So because we have a purple line here, 
I think we should also use the same color to complete the top part of our rocket, right? There we go. Okay, so this is a different one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go around that. Remember, focus on your angles, right? Your angles are important and your pixels are also important. If they say 150 pixels or 75 or 100, then make sure you use 100, right? Like I told you, instructions will give you a guideline, right? Because now if you can check your coding block, it says here 100 pixels. And then what, what you're gonna do is, you're going to use that. And then let's say you turn right by 90 degrees. Say for example, you didn't read the instructions. You just um, click dragging because you see um, your sprite and then you're thinking if I move forward, then I'm gonna end here. That's not gonna happen because you need to focus on the instructions. So if you run our program right now, can you see what happened? Can you see what happened? So always remember to follow your instructions because here it says 150 for the long side. So each long side is 150 and then each short side is 75, right? So we are going to change the 100 to 150 and then 10 right by how many degrees? 45, it can't be 90 because 90 will give you a right angle. So if you go 90, you will go this way. If we're here, we're gonna go this way instead of going that direction, right? We're gonna move straight down. So we're gonna change our 90 to a 45 and then move forward again. Remember, we are now focusing on our shorter side, which is 75 pixels. So we're gonna change that 100 to a 75. And then if we reset and run our program, just to see how far we are with our codes, and then do you see that? Do you see that? So we are going to continue doing that because our workspace says we need to use 12 blocks. So far we've used one, two, three, four. Then what are we gonna do? We're gonna turn right by how many degrees this time? 90 degrees. Because from when you look at our sprite from the direction that is facing, and if you want to turn and face this way, that can't be a 45 degree turn. It should be a 90 degree turn, right? And then you're gonna move forward, focusing on this area again, 75 pixels. Let's check if we are still on the right track. Okay, so what was gonna happen if the 90 was a 45? Because now you're assuming from here to there, it's a 45 degree turn. This is what's gonna happen. Do you see that? So it's not a 45 degree turn, it's a 90 degree turn, right? Okay, so we moved forward by 75 right here. Then you're gonna turn right, 45 degrees, move forward by 150 pixels. And then you're gonna turn right again, 45 degrees, cause we are now focusing on this area, 45 degrees. Then you move forward by 75. This is where we are right now, 75. So let's see, we have 10 so far. Let's check if we're on the right track. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn right again by 90 degrees and then move forward by 75. Right. 
Okay, so our code is complete. You can add different colors. You can use a loop. You can set random colors. So I want us to manipulate the system again, use a different coding block for it to give us a different function because our focus today is functions, right? I'm going to run the program again. You see different colors, right? Um, try again, set color, change that to that, run. If you remove that and do that, can you see these are these are like your puzzle pieces, right? You can just play around with them. You can take this, click and drag, put it in there. Then let's see what's gonna happen. Okay. Now I want the top part to be red, but the bottom part to be purple. What are we going to do? Um, so we're gonna take that, put it like that, and then maybe from here, I'm gonna just put it in a random place, right? And then reset and run. Now we have different colors because we have set different colors for each um, each line, right? Um, I'm gonna pause again for questions. If you have any question, please feel free to ask me right now. Okay, um, let me go through the chat. Okay. Um, La, La, La Quandra, I hope I, I pronounce your name um, very well. Um, what's confusing you? What is confusing you? And then Who else? Um, Johari, what's your question? If you have any question, please feel free to ask me. Lakwandra, you can ask a question. Martin, yes, I'm gonna use the loop next time, don't worry, because we focusing on different um, colors right now and different functions. Yes, I didn't use the loop today, but I'm glad you mentioned that. It shows that you, you learned something yesterday. Um, okay, um, Dogozo, you don't do coding at school, but you can do it with us right here. Um, like I told you guys every day that, like I always mention that, feel free to ask me any question at any time, at the end of this lesson, I'm going to give you my email address, then drop me an email and then just ask any questions that you have. Any other questions? Um, Ranzu, so the app is out of code. So if you go to www.code.org, and then it will give you different courses, just go through them. Or you can just type in this link and then it will take you straight to where we were, right? If you type this link, it will take you straight to where we were. You are welcome. Um, how, what do you mean by that? What do you mean by um, drawing to make loading screens? I don't think I understand your question. Please um, explain your question.
what was I doing? Um, so what, what, today's lesson was focused on functions, right? Because different um, coding blocks have different functions. If your if they instruct you to give um to use different um blocks, for example, if they say you need to move forward three times, right? So you're gonna have to use that coding block to move forward three times, right? Bongumus, I'll come to you just now. Um, so we focus on different coding blocks that have different functions. And then what happened was that we focus on different patterns, different colors, different pixels to show you that different coding blocks have different functions, right? Um, Bongo Musa, your hand was up. You want to ask something? Bongo Musa. Um, I don't know who's using Huawei P Smart, but your hand is also up. Yes, I'm listening. The person who's using your Huawei P Smart, your hand is up. I'm listening. Okay, um, we are going to continue. So, um, like I told you, when you go to your code.org, I want you to follow these steps, right? So on your top left, top left of your screen, after going to code.org, on your top left of your screen, you're gonna click on learn. And then when it loads, you're gonna scroll down, go to grades K to five, and then you're gonna click on learn more. So you'll see different, three different blue boxes. One that says grades K, um, K to five, one that says six to 12, et cetera, right? So you're gonna click on the first one that's K to five. Under that, you're gonna click learn more. And then you're gonna click on course E and then you go straight to lesson two, right? And then you're gonna start coding. Um, how, um, okay, okay. No, I'm gonna teach you all these things, right? Um, so tomorrow we're gonna focus on Scratch and then Scratch is more advanced than our of code. So I'm gonna teach you all these different functions. So you're gonna do animation, you're gonna do games, you're gonna do st storytelling. There's a lot that we're still gonna do, right? Okay, so right now, um, I want you to unmute yourself and then share with the rest of us the three things that you've learned, three things that you wanna share with your friends and family, two things that you wanna share with your friends and family, and one thing that you'll continue doing, right? So if you have anything that you want to share with us, please unmute yourself and then just share with us. Anyone really, if you have anything that you want to share with us, please unmute yourself. Yes, Huawei P Smart. I'm listening. How? Uh, the three things that I learned was to learn how to be able to draw and use loops to draw different shapes and sizes. Mm -hmm. And, and the two things I'll share with my family is to teach them how to draw shapes using coding and to be able to change colors. And the one thing I'll continue doing is to use animations. But I'm not sure what I'm going to do with animation, but I'll use animations in 
being I'm going to use animations to be able to program gaming game loading screens and logos awesome so with what you've said right now i like the fact that you are going to teach your family and friends how to do the coding right so the more people you teach then the more you'll be able to understand yourself the more you're going to be able to explore other things right and then i also like the fact that you use the coding language um you, you spoke about programming right so yeah you don't have to worry about anything we're going to program our own games design our own websites and design everything else that you want to design right um so please feel free to ask me any question at any time i'm going to provide you with my email address again and then if you if you are on social media please use the hashtag stem champions and hashtag read to lead right um so at your own time what I want you to do is practice drawing using patterns, use different colors, pixels, and annals, use different coding blocks that have different functions, right? Um, Martin says, I'll be continuing coding and explore coding in my, in my spare times, right? Um, so instead of just sitting around and just watching TV the whole day, or I don't know, doing what, because of the lockdown, um, instead of doing all that, just take your time and start coding, right? Who knows what you're going to design? You probably design something that you can sell for millions around the world, right? So just practice this, go through YouTube videos, see what people are doing, get some ideas, and then start coding, right? Um, these are some of the useful um, tools that you can use, useful links you can go to. So tomorrow we are going to use scratch.mit.edu and then please make sure that you have this app on your phone code monkey right you can download the app on app store or play store if you're using an android you can go to play store if you're using an ios you can go to app store right and then you can also search for coding videos on youtube to get ideas and then tomorrow we are going to use scratch and then you're going to look at different functions before we can do anything else, right? I'm going to introduce you to Scratch uh, and then you'll see how it works. After that, we are going to look at different things, right? Okay, so this is my email address. Please copy it down if you have any questions at any time. If you have some things to share with me, please feel free to drop me an email. And then I'm going to open up for questions again or clarifications. If there's something that you didn't understand, um, please let me know right now. If you have any questions, you can unmute yourself or you can type your question and then ask me the question. Um, what is the name of the game? What game, Mungumusa? What game are you talking about? coding game okay um so it's it's actually a software it's online it's called hour of code h-o-u-r of code right so if you go to code.org and then you're gonna be able to do what i was doing with you you can go through different courses and then you can start coding Where can you do your coding? Like I said, you can go to code.org, right? And then do your coding. But tomorrow's focus will be on Scratch. We're gonna start using Scratch tomorrow. Any other questions? Okay, one other thing, please remember, um, go to these links and please practice at your own at your own time, at your own pace. Um, where can you do the coding, like on your phone or laptop? Oh, okay, um, you can use 
a tablet, can use a laptop, can use a computer, you can use a phone. It's up to you what you want to use, right? Any device is friendly, is user friendly. Anything else? There's nothing else. Are you sure? Okay, I have a question for you because we only have three minutes. I have a question for you. Um, so please raise up your hand if you did what I asked you to do yesterday. If you practiced coding yesterday, please raise up your hand right now. Okay, two. Only two people, three, okay. So only three people, right, okay. So currently I see um, the 12 of you in this group. What I want you to do is I want you to practice what we did today because tomorrow we're not gonna use Scratch if we didn't practice what we did today, right? Um, so I'm gonna have to say goodbye if you, have, if you don't have any other question. No, Martin, it's fine. If you didn't have time, then it's, it's fine. We are gonna go through everything together. It's okay, Ranzu, it's okay. But please, if I give you um, an assignment, please do it, because I'm not doing it for myself. You're not doing it to submit to me, to show me that you did it, but you're doing it for your own benefit, right? You do it because you want to learn, right? Um, I'm gonna have to say goodbye to everyone right now. And please do enjoy the rest of your lessons, enjoy the rest of your day and take care of yourselves. Goodbye, everyone.